Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Frederick Blichnot, and I'm bringing your daily blitz today. What I've decided to do is for the next couple of uh, times that we are together is to go through Psalm 1. And uh, I first, what I'm going to do is, because uh, I believe the Lord has given me a lot of nuggets in Psalm 1 to help us uh, in our daily walk, uh, you know, just as a, as a, a, a devotional for today. Uh, Psalm 1 says, Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or take advice from the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the company of mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord and he meditates on it day and night. He is, that person is like a tree who is planted by the rivers of water which will yield its fruit in season and whatever leaves he has will not, will not fall or will not wither and whatever he does shall prosper. And then it says, not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in judgment, nor the sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. So in Psalm 1, there's a definite difference between uh, how to live righteous, how to, and what to do and what not to do. So I want to dissect that line by line and, and through our daily blitzes, that's going to help you. So the first thing I want to ask you is, who do you take your advice from? Can I ask you that question? Think about it. Who speaks into your ear? You know, who, who do you listen to? Um, certainly we go to school, we go to university, we go to others and we get teaching and people teach us and we learn from them. But who do you take advice on when it comes to your daily living, to how you want to live your life one day? That is very, very important. Um, and here, it's, there's a clear instruction in that first line. It said, blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked. That's according to the New King James Version. But the, the NLT and some of the other versions says that that word walk in step with basically means takes advice from. So who, who do you take your advice from where your learning is concerned, where your living for God is concerned? And so I want to I wanna caution you, do not take your advice from the wicked. How many times don't we listen to the news or don't we listen to some Hollywood star or some person that doesn't serve the Lord at all who hates God? And we, 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 take, a, we, we take advice from the wicked. They tell you, some of us even go as far as read our horoscopes. Who do you take your advice from? My uh, challenge to you today is to take your advice from the godly. Take your advice, better take your advice from the Holy Spirit that is sent on earth to guide you and to lead you into all truth. That's the job of the Holy Spirit, to come alongside of you and to help you to serve Him. So my advice to you today is to take your advice from the Holy Spirit and not from the wicked. Do not walk with the wicked. Do not walk in step with the wicked. Let us pray. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, help us not to walk in rhythm with or walk in step with the wicked. Help us not to conform, according to Romans 12, verse 2, to the ways and the patterns and the customs of this world, but help us to serve you and help us to be led by your spirit in the precious name of Jesus. Enjoy the rest of your day.